Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about temperature. First, I have to define the temperature and then how to apply this definition to solve our problems. When we say temperature, we are going to talk about a measurement to explain how an object can be cold or hot. Is one of the experiences that we had in our daily life and we understand the temperature. But we need to know that temperature in sciences can be reported by three different methods, three different scales. So in chemistry, like any other sciences, we have three temperature scales. One of those is degrees Celsius. Another one is degrees Fahrenheit. And the last one is Kelvin. Some of you you are familiar with degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit, but you have no idea about Kelvin. So let me mark this one, Kelvin. This is the SI unit of temperature. So that is why we need to learn Kelvin. So please understand Kelvin, it doesn't have degrees. We have only a capital uppercase K. So we are going to learn something new because it's a unit of temperature is Kelvin. Degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit and Kelvin can be related to each other by one formula. To find relationship between degrees Celsius and Kelvin, we need to work with this equation. Kelvin can be calculated degrees Celsius plus 273. So this is the equation we need to consider when we solve our problems for finding relationship between degrees Celsius and Kelvin. Assume that I say calculate zero degrees Celsius in Kelvin. So you just need to say that Kelvin is equal degrees Celsius is 0 plus 273. So it's going to be 273K. So it looks, when we say 0 degrees Celsius, we are talking about 273K. One temperature you need to memorize is, temper is going to be this temperature, room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So please memorize that. Room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Right now, I may ask you to calculate room temperature in Kelvin. In Kelvin. So you just say Kelvin is degrees Celsius plus 273. So 25 plus 273. If you add this number, you may get 298. So Kelvin 298 is room temperature for this conversion. Another conversion you need to know whenever you are going to convert degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. The equation is like this one. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. So you need to memorize these two when we are going to work on this conversion. It would be easier to remember them when you are going to solve your problems to save your time. So I'm going to ask you calculate 100 degrees Celsius in degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see how it works. So you just need to say degrees Fahrenheit is 1.8 times 100. Let me write it like this. This is similar to everything except 100. 1.8 times 100 plus 32. So if you calculate that, you may see like this number. Degrees Fahrenheit is 212. So let me write 100 point to make 
this number more accurate one. So 212. One thing I'm going to ask you to memorize that melting point or freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. Boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, 100 point. So we calculate it like this. In degrees Fahrenheit, we have 212. In Kelvin, for example, we have 273. So different numbers in different scales. Whenever we work on Kelvin, and we call that this is the SI unit, because always we have positive amount of temperature in Kelvin. We don't have negative temperature. We cannot say, for example, 32 degrees below zero. So we don't have like this one. For Kelvin, always we have positive amount. The lowest temperature, lowest temperature in Kelvin is zero, is zero, zero K. And we call that zero Kelvin. We call that zero Kelvin. So lowest temperature is zero Kelvin. We are going to know what is this temperature, what is this temperature if we are going to work on this temperature in degrees Celsius. So I'm going to know Calculate 0K in degrees Celsius. So equation is degrees Celsius plus 273. It should be K. So I'm going to say 0K is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273. I need to add negative 273 to both sides. This one and that one cancel out. So I say degrees Celsius is negative 273. This is the lowest temperature we may consider in our universe. So scientists believe that this is the minimal or lowest temperature could be available for our universe. To complete this conversions from one unit to another one, I may ask you to work on a couple examples. I may ask you to work on a couple examples. For example, I may say, calculate 310 Kelvin in degrees Fahrenheit. So we know two equations. Degrees Celsius plus 273 is going to be Kelvin K. Another one is degrees Fahrenheit is 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. We don't have any relationship between Kelvin and Fahrenheit. We always have between Kelvin and degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. There is no relationship between these two. Whenever we have Kelvin and degrees Fahrenheit. So you need to consider this relationship. Degrees Celsius to Kelvin, we may use this equation. Degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin, there is no equation. What should we do? So to solve the problem like this, I may ask you first convert Kelvin to degrees Celsius. If we convert Kelvin to degrees Celsius, we can convert degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So the first step is like this one. Let me write it here. Kelvin convert to degrees Celsius because we have this relationship. Then you need to convert to degrees Fahrenheit. You need to convert to degrees Fahrenheit because you have this equation. So first I may say 310 is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273. I may add negative 273 here. This one and that one cancel out. So degrees Celsius is going to be 
like 7 and this is the 37 if I calculated it correctly 37 degrees Celsius right now I'm going to convert degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit we have this equation I may write 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32 so degrees Celsius is 37 I need to calculate that one so let me calculate this 1.8 times 37 plus 32 the answer is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit one thing I may ask you to pay attention for our problems whenever we convert one unit to another unit so whenever you convert one unit to another unit we need to keep accuracy and precision we need to consider the same number of sig figs so number of sig figs must be same look here in our problem we started with two sig figs here two sig figs here we don't count this zero as sig figs you know why so two sig figs here so when I converted that one to this one I need to keep two sig figs two sig figs whenever I'm going to convert that one we need to consider two sig figs two sig figs so I need to draw a box here so this digit is six I have to drop this I have to drop this round off so the answer is 99 degrees Fahrenheit so I said that 310 Kelvin is equal to 37 degrees Celsius is equal to 99 degrees Fahrenheit so whenever we are going to solve our problems please understand when you convert one number from one temperature scale to another number you need to consider the number of sig figs two sig figs two sig figs two sig figs hope this example it gives you better understanding to convert one unit to another one by using these equations this is the one of the most difficult examples you may have for these sections other example always we need to only plug in one equation to solve our problem plug in either this equation or that one convert degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa Kelvin to degrees Celsius or vice versa when we don't have relationship between the equations is not provided so we need to use both equations and plug in and follow the strategy step by step to solve our problems thank you for watching this video